everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting announcement. I am starting a new series here on my channel. This will basically be taking the place of my 100 years of makeup series that I've been doing for the last year. I wanted a new kind of series for this year. Although I know I still have one more video to do in that series, but that's quite a big project. But this series is basically an inspiring women series. I wanted to do a series where I took inspiration from women that I find particularly very inspiring. Um, I wanted to recreate one of their signature looks or a favorite makeup look of theirs sort of recreate the look with some of my favorite products while also talking about why I find them inspiring maybe some of the qualities about them that I think are awesome many of the looks are going to come out quite wearable and like sort of office appropriate looks which I think many of you really enjoy um, I know many of you love those kind of wearable looks that I do there aren't many of them on YouTube anymore I feel like everyone's into the glitter cut creases and that these days so I do like being able to put out some more like wearable you know everyday women kind of makeup looks as well so today we are starting starting out with Jacinda Ardern who you may not know about because most of my audience is not from New Zealand where Jacinda is from. Jacinda is actually our Prime Minister of New Zealand. She was recently elected late last year and she is one of the youngest heads of state in the world and the, one of the youngest women particularly. One of her signature makeup looks that was particularly during her like campaign tour um, because her party's colour is red was this very classic kind of slightly vintage, slightly Parisian sort of look with the black liner on the top lash line and the bright red lip um, and she'd often wear this paired with a bright red jacket which just looked stunning she has brunette hair and it just looked amazing sadly I do not have brunette hair and I don't have a red jacket but I paired it with a little black top I thought that looked um, simple enough of course as I put on the makeup I will be chatting about all the things that I think are inspiring about Jacinda but I will have all the products listed below in case I do skip over anything or something isn't quite clear for you so I'm going to begin with a base I'm using the hourglass veil mineral primer today which is a silicon based primer oil free and it helps to prolong the wear of your makeup. I really really like this one. Now for my base I'm gonna go in with something that has a kind of light to medium coverage. Jacinda's base she definitely looks like she's wearing foundation but it's nothing too heavy um, or over the top so I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation and this is in the shade 001 Light Ivory. I've just done a review on this as well so if you're interested I'll pop it in the description and up in a card for you to go watch. This is one of those foundations that has one of those giant sort of paddle applicators. It's a very runny formula so I think that this applicator really works for the texture. And then to blend that in I'm actually going to use this little like small kabuki brush sort of thing. This is a Thin Lizzy one, it come, came with the foundation. I got this at the Priceline Beauty prescription. And I find this to be a really great brush for buffing in this foundation. And I'm just going to add a touch of concealer under my eyes. I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. I'm just going to do a very targeted amount and blend it out with a Kabuki brush. This is just the Exo Beauty Round Top Face Brush. And then I'm just going to use the concealer on very, very pinpointed areas around my face where I have some blemishes just to cover those up. This is actually a domed shadow brush by Real Techniques, but I just take a little bit of the product from the wand. I'm just going to be very targeted with where I put my concealer so it looks more natural. While I'm doing this, because this takes a while <laughs> to blend in over each blemish on my face, but I thought I would talk a little bit about why Jacinda was my first pick for this series. I love the fact that she's a Kiwi and I thought it would be kind of cool since most of my audience is not from New Zealand, I thought it'd be quite cool to like sort of talk about her. What I really loved about Jacinda um, apart from the obvious, you know, the fact that she is leading our country, is just how down to earth she is. She's a very real person, at least from how she appears online and, you know, from what I've seen of her. She appears to be really in touch and has a real heart and is very down to earth. And just like any celebrity, that could just be very, very good marketing of her personality uh, from her team. I personally get a very strong sense from her that she's a very genuine person. She suffers from anxiety as well, yet she's still able to lead a country. It's amazing and can do all the things she's done. So she's very inspiring for me in that regard, in the sense of how she can sort of rise above her mental health problems. She doesn't let her anxiety inhibit her from achieving her goals in life, and I just love that. She was really thrown in the deep end of selection. Um, she went from deputy of the Labour Party, which was in opposition and was not looking like it was going to win the election at all, to a few weeks out being um, having to step up to be leader of the Labour Party. 
And then in the end, Labour ended up winning the election. It was one of those weird elections where National Party actually got more votes, but they didn't get enough votes to um, be able to form a government on their own. So, and then Labour managed to form a government. I think that was kind of the end result. Um, so some people were pretty funny about her win because they didn't feel like she really deserved it. But it's sort of the same way, and I guess in the sense that like uh, Hillary Clinton in America got more votes than Trump in the election, uh, technically, like person for person, but that's just not the way the elections roll. But don't worry, this video is not going to be actually about politics, I just needed to mention that. I'm going to set the concealer with this new powder. This is the Mecha Max Life Proof Super Set Invisible Press Powder. This is basically a pressed silica powder, and I'm just using a big fluffy brush for that. And I've put a very, very small amount on, literally just on the areas where I applied concealer, kind of like in the middle of my face, like around under my eyes. And then I'm not going to contour today because it doesn't look like she contours um, in any of the pictures that I've seen. Or if she does, it's very, very natural. But I would guess that being a very busy lady, she probably doesn't have time to contour. But I am going to pop on a bit of bronzer. I'm going to use the Body Shop Honey Bronzer. This is in the shade 01. Uh, this is the lightest one in the range. And this is one of the nicest bronzers for fair skin. It's really, really nice. Um, my packaging is breaking, which is kind of frustrating. I'm just using my normal powder brush. This is the Fearless Cosmetics the largest brush from their Body Couture kit. Yeah, as I was saying, she's very down to earth. She grew up in small town New Zealand and I guess really saw the injustice of what people living below the poverty line have to face. Um, and I guess the real inequality that was starting to appear in New Zealand during her sort of lifetime New Zealand's really changed from being quite an egalitarian society. A society that's full of a lot of inequality um, and it's really her mission and the reason why she got into politics because she was so passionate about making a difference I just love that and then for blush I've chosen something quite muted as well I'm using the MAC mineralized blush in warm soul which is a really pretty muted peach and I'm using my Surat Beauty blush brush I wanted something that was quite subtle and didn't really look like blush because she doesn't really appear to wear quite a strong blush or anything in her pictures especially when she does this look with the red lip. She keeps the attention on the lips and on the eyes. And again, it doesn't really look like she uses a highlighter or nothing too metallic anyway. So I'm gonna go in with the, this is a new one that you guys haven't seen me use yet. It's the Laura Mercier Highlight Number no. One, the Matte Radiance Baked Powder. This is a satin highlighter, so it's nothing too metallic or shimmery or glittery. It's just a really nice pearlescent sheen. Um, it's borderline for me color-wise. I have to use a very light hand with it or else it can look a bit dark. I'm just using this little Hakuhodo Tapered Highlighting Brush as well. But the name of this product is really funny, Matte Radiance. It's not that it's a matte product. I think it just means that it's not metallic or glittery in its sort of texture. You know, it comes off as just a very sort of pearlescent sheen, especially if you use a minimal amount and really buff it into the skin. You can definitely see there's a bit of a glow there, but it's nothing like my MAC uh, Double Gleam highlighter or anything. But this is a very beautiful product to choose for like every day if you want to have a bit of a glow, but you don't want to make it look like you're wearing highlighter. The brows are quite natural, but shaped well. So I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics HD Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Blonde. And I love using this for when I want kind of quite a natural brow because I can really draw in like fake little hairs. The other reason I really love and feel inspired by Jacinda is that she's very outspoken on her beliefs. Even though she recognizes as there is a gender bias in politics, she does really encourage women to get into politics and speak their truth. And I love that. I'm so inspired by that. But the other reason I really admire her is she's very classy. There have been a few male politicians and like reporters and things that have made some crude remarks, rude, straight up rude remarks and really sexist remarks, um, either like, you know, to the news or on Twitter and things. And her, the way she handles those kind of remarks is pure class. She does acknowledge those sort of remarks, especially if um, she's asked about it, but she certainly doesn't make a big deal about it. She's in politics to help people, not to, you know, not for her own self-image. So you can really get that sense from her, the way she responds to these kind of, you know, sort of drama-fueled um, tweets and comments and remarks from males. New Zealand was the first country in the world to let women vote 
which is cool, which is Kate Shepherd, way back in the day. And we've had female prime ministers before. My the very first prime minister I ever remember sort of hearing about when I was a very young child, I was probably like five or six or something, was um Jenny Shipley. And then we had Helen Clark for many, many years. I think she was in office for like nine years. So we've definitely had like you know, female prime ministers before. Um, that's nothing new. But what I love about Jacinda is that she's really young for a style. Like she's only 37, maybe 38 now, but she, she was 37 when she got elected. Since the eyeliner is kind of the main focus on the eyes, I'm gonna go in with just some nice neutral shades from my Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. Many of you have this at home and you're always asking me to use it, so I pulled it out for today. I'm going in first with this big fluffy brush. This is one from Beach Cosmetics, it's their number 16 brush and this shade here, Nudie, which is a soft sort of crease color. Yeah, Jacinda is, was very young when she was elected. She's the second youngest Prime Minister New Zealand's ever had, and the only beaten by some guy, what was his name? I wrote it down, Edward Stafford in 1856. <laughs> So it's a long time ago, 150 years ago. The youngest prime minister anyone who's living today has ever had in New Zealand. And she's a woman and she's pregnant, having her first child. And in June, when she gives birth, she will be one of only two world leaders ever to have given birth while in office, which I just think is so cool. And it's so inspiring. It's so like shows, you know, it really shows that you can have a career and you can have a family and that having babies doesn't like limit you as a woman in the workforce. I just want to reiterate, I'm not a man hater. Like I'm happily married. I love my husband. <laughs> it's just, I just get really excited when I see women doing cool things, you know. What also makes this pregnancy and this birth of her first child even better is that she is not married to her partner. They are not married and they're having a baby. You know, like everyone has different beliefs on, you know, whether you should have children before you get married or whatever. That's not the argument here. I just think it's kind of nice that it's not a traditional sort of uh, nuclear family sort of setup which can be very common in politics. And the great thing is that her partner is actually going to be a stay-at-home dad. So she's gonna take a bit of maternity leave, obviously, while she has the child. And um, I'm just popping a little bit of this cashmere bunny in my crease, by the way, with my Hakuhodo brush. It's a slightly darker color, and I'm just kind of running it over my eye, too. Uh, Winston Peters is the Deputy Prime Minister of New Zealand and he's filling in for I think it's six weeks while she has the child while it's really really young, a newborn, and then her partner's going to be a stay at home dad when she, when she returns to office, which I think is so cool. I'm just taking a smaller brush, this is the BH Cosmetics number 17 brush, it's real teeny tiny, and that first nudie colour we used. I'm just putting a little bit of this under the eye. I'm gonna pop a little bit of a nude liner on my waterline. I'm using this one by Annabelle, which is a Canadian brand, I think, a drugstore brand. I had a lovely subscriber send it to me with a few other things. I'm gonna be doing a haul soon of um, some products from Canada and America that I can't get here. This is the Waterline Luminous Coal Eyeliner in the shade Champagne. I quite like this because it's quite sheer. So it adds a little bit of brightness and like luminosity to the, to the waterline without looking too stark or anything. The main point of Jacinda's eye look is, is the eyeliner. She uses a liquid liner, it looks like, um, at least in her sort of campaign makeup that she wore a lot. The sort of image that I'm recreating, she has liquid liner just on her lash line. It doesn't wing out like very far at all. It just sort of is like on the lash line, maybe slightly winged, but like very, very small. So I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D waterproof liquid eyeliner in the color Trooper, which is black. And I'm just going to put a line straight across. I'm gonna pop on some mascara, I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I love this mascara, it's so, so good. It creates a nice amount of volume and length. Now I'm only gonna put it on the top lashes because it didn't really look like she wore mascara either at all or maybe she only wore a very little bit on her lash line but it just, the bottom lashes weren't really touched. So I'm gonna move on to lips and for lips I'm gonna use this MAC lipstick. This is Rouge en Snow. This was from their holiday collection last year. Even though it's limited edition, it's one of my favorites so I wanted to use it but it's very similar to any sort of just bright cherry matte red. The red that Jacinda wears is a very sort of like classic bold red. It's quite bright, it's not too deep and vampy or anything.
<laughs> the only thing about wearing a creamy lipstick is it can get on your teeth. But that is the final look there. I think it's perfectly appropriate for daytime, perfect for the office, but when you want to make a real statement and feel really powerful because that red lip just pops. Perfect if you, I think this would be great if you had like a big presentation or a meeting or something to go to that you really wanted to make a statement and yeah, give yourself a bit of a confidence boost if you feel comfortable in red lipstick. Perhaps if you don't feel comfortable wearing bright red, that may be more distracting for you than anything. But if um, it's like putting on a pair of heels, some people feel really like empowered by them and other people don't. So, but I think just Cinder really rocked it. If you enjoyed this video and you're excited for the series, do give it a thumbs up for me. It does let me know that I should make more of these. I do have a few other women already lined up. If you missed my last tutorial, I'll link it up there for you to watch and you can subscribe by clicking on my face. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.